Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, my name is Emily and I'm a third grade teacher in Southwest Louisiana. And today I'm going to do my first classroom haul. Now, let me tell you why this is my first classroom haul. If you watch a previous video, I think it's one of my classroom packups, you'll know that I am moving into a new building this year. And since they didn't have the whole building finished, I don't really know like what I'll need as in storage or um, how much border I'll need or how much bulletin board paper I'll need. So I'm kind of holding off on that until I can get into my classroom to see what I'll need. So this is just kind of stuff that I can put in my classroom that I can decorate with and things like that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to link everything down below in the description box, but if I can't find the exact link, I'll try to link something similar. I know um, some of this stuff is from Five Below and I'm not even sure if they have a website. So I'll try to link something similar if I can find it, okay? So first I'm gonna start with this pillow from the Target Dollar Spot. It was $5. Now I have pillows like this. If you watch my classroom haul from last year and I'll link it down below, I bought some pillows kind of similar to this, but my kids love them. They love to sit on them um, and do independent work or if they're taking an AR test or just reading their books, they just grab a pillow, find a spot on the floor and get their work done. So I really love these pillows. I bought one more because I didn't want too many um, because I don't want every kid sitting on the floor with pillows. So I think this will make my fifth pillow, but I love it because it's um, the alphabet and it's just got some pops of color because this year I'm trying to do more of like a neutral black and white theme with just like barely pops of color. I felt like my classroom last year was a little bit too much color. Um, so I feel like this is just enough pop of color. So this was from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm sure they'll have it again at the beginning of the school year when they put all their school stuff out, but I happened to nag this um, maybe a month ago, I think, but yeah, I love it. Okay, so the next thing is one of my favorite things ever. Um, one of my other teachers put me onto this and it is erasable pens. Now I got these off of Amazon. They're the Fr Frixion, I think that's how you say it, um, by Pilot and they are just erasable pens. Um, the ones I used last year were click pens, but these are, uh, they have caps on them, but it's so convenient because grade and papers, if you make a mistake, it doesn't have to be messy, you just erase it and fix your mistake. So I bought two of these packs, mainly because I wanted multiple black and multiple blue and red ones and then the other colors are just for fun but um they were really cheap on amazon i got a deal it was like five dollars for 10 pens so i thought that was a pretty good deal so i'm really excited about these excited to try these out because these aren't usually the ones i use like i said last year i had the click ones and these are the ones with caps so i'm interested to see if they write different or if they erase different i'll keep you updated on it Okay, so the next thing I got just for fun, it is an inflatable um, number three. Like I said, I teach third grade. So I thought this would be really cute for like meet and greet or the first day of school to have this inflated and just by the door and kids could take pictures with it. Um, I know they sell these at Party City, but I got this at Five Below uh, for $2. So I thought that was a pretty good deal because I've always wanted to do this, but then run out of time. Um, I have other things to do that are more important than getting an inflatable balloon so kids can take pictures with it. So now all I have to do is actually go get this blown up. And luckily there is a party city not too far from my school. So right before meet and greet, I can just go get this blown up real quick and have it ready for them. Okay, so these aren't new, but I will link them, um, I guess from Books A Million or Barnes and Noble, but I got these two books from a thrift store. They were like a dollar a piece, but one is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul, and it's kind of big for third grade, but I have some kids that um, have higher reading levels, so I think they'll enjoy that. And then the other one is Amelia Bedelia and the Surprise Shower, and I actually think, okay, so it says it's a 2.3, and like I said, I have some kids who have high reading levels and some who have low reading levels. So. 
I like to have books that everybody can read in my library and I think that they'll like this. I loved Amelia Bedelia as a kid and so I hope my kids like it too. Okay, so I made a Michaels run yesterday, Saturday, and I found this on sale. It was originally $13 and I got it for five and it's just file folders, but I thought they were so cute. Um, this one has a cactus on it and it says, in this class we stick together. And there are two of each print, I guess, but on the back it shows you all the prints. I don't know if you can see that, there might be a glare. But there's two that have um, stripes and it says, work hard, be kind. And then there's the apples, the colorful apples. And then there's like a, I don't wanna say chevron, it's more just like a lines with an apple that says, teachers plant seeds that will grow forever. So I thought they were really cute. Um, just a little pop of color in my classroom. Um, something that I could put on my desk and it'd be cute. So um, I thought that was a good deal for $5. There are six, no, I lied. There's eight in here. So I thought that was just a good little deal and it's super cute. It's by the Happy Planner. So I got that at Michael's. When you go to Michael's, check their clearance because they have all kinds of stuff like this. They had a bunch of stickers, but I already have like two books of stickers that I lost last year and recently found. So I didn't want to get more when I already have like two brand new books. So yeah, just go and hit up that clearance. Uh, ours is just like one aisle, but um, at Michael's they have all kinds of like happy planner stuff and they have pretty good stuff. And like if you do treasure box, they have a ton of little bitty toys and stuff like that in the clearance aisle always. Okay, so I'm gonna combine these next two items, but I got them both from the Target dollar spot. Now, little backstory, our school does not have like an actual playground, like there's no equipment. We just have like a big field and a pavilion with a basketball court. And if a teacher doesn't have a basketball, then they don't really get to play basketball because there's like no playground equipment, like I said. So the kids really just run around. There's some swings, but there's only like six maybe out of 100 kids in third grade. So they get really bored during recess. So I got this giant, um, what's it called? Fabric flying disc, it's 16 inches and it was $3 at the Bullseye's Playground or whatever it's called, the Target dollar spot, I still call it. And I thought that was just like a little fun thing that they could throw and just not be so bored and running around and telling us they're ready to go inside because they're bored. And I also got this, it was a dollar, just um, throw, kick, anything they wanna do with this little thing. Um, literally just something for them to play with. I feel so bad that they don't have playground equipment, but apparently there's not enough money in the budget, blah, 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 you know how it goes. Um, so we do not have playground equipment. So I'm trying to slowly build up some playground stuff for them to do. Uh, I don't wanna just go out and buy brand new basketballs, soccer balls, um, things like that, cake balls, because it's gonna get ruined probably within a couple of months. So I try to find like a garage sales if people are selling stuff like that, I'll pick stuff up. But other than that, I just kinda try to find easy stuff that they can play with. Um, it's easy to store, it's easy to bring outside, and hopefully one day we'll get a playground. Okay, so this next item my husband actually bought for me for my classroom. He saw it at Hobby Lobby and couldn't pass it up. He said it was perfect for me and for my classroom. Um, it is this canvas. It, said, it says, weird is a side effect of awesome. He always tells me I'm weird, um, and I'll go with that. But I thought this was such a cute thing to put in my classroom because, you know, I always, I tell my kids, you're so weird, not in a bad way, but you know, because it's a side effect of being awesome. So I thought this was so cute to put in my classroom. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. Like I said, I haven't seen my classroom yet, uh, but I'm excited to have it up. It's just so cute. It's got a little bit of a farmhouse um, thing going on. It'll go really well with my neutral classroom this year. Okay, next, this is also from Hobby Lobby. It is Photo and Craft Keeper. It's from the Spring Shop line. And a lot of people get these from Michaels um, to put task cards in, but this was only $10. And the Spring Shop items were half off. So I got this for $5. It is a set of six 
and it comes with like a base that you can set them in. And I'm going to try task cards this year. I've never done it, um, mainly because I feel like our schedule, the school sets our schedule, so we don't really have a lot of room to do extra things. That's how I feel, but I feel like this will be good for um, kids in the morning or early finishers or during RTI if I feel like kids need some extra help um, on certain things. They'll have this and I'm slowly putting together some task cards and I might have to go buy some more if uh, I decide to put together more task card uh, little box things. But I'm excited to try this this year and see how it goes. See if my kids even like doing that. I'm not sure. New set of kids, don't know how they act. But yeah, I only got this for $5 at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if that sale is still going on, but I'll definitely link it down below and Usually you can at least get a 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. So at least you could get 40% off. Okay, next is this stool. I actually got five of these. Um, let me show you the top. These are really similar to the ones that um, are the Ikea brand, but I got five of those. I got two. Mm. See if that stays. I got two black ones and three white ones because like I said, I wanna do a black and white theme this year. And last year I just had regular chairs at my small group table and it got really crowded. Like the chairs didn't all fit underneath the table and kids were kicking each other and it was just a lot of mess. So I decided to get these stools to put at my small group table so it will be a little bit more roomier and it will look nicer because you can just shove them underneath the table and nobody can see them. Um, but they were $6 each at like a little discount store uh, down the road. So luckily I found them there. But I'm pretty sure these are close to the ones that Ikea sells. So I'll link those below um, from the ones the ones from Ikea. I'll link those down in the description box. But I don't know, this store is called Ollie's. Maybe if you have an Ollie's. It's like a weird discount store that's got like a bunch of random stuff in it. And I happened to find those and I was really excited because the closest Ikea is about three hours away and I did not want to make a drive to Ikea just for five stools. So I was really thankful and grateful that I found those close by, like 10 minutes down the road. Next item is something that every teacher should have in their classroom and I have not had it in my classroom for the past two years, but I've always had friends that have had one. So I just used theirs and that is a toolbox okay so this is an 89 piece let me read the thing i had to take it apart because i had to use something in it um 89 piece uh tool set and this comes in handy all the time just like random things that you would never think that you'd have to take apart or unscrew or you need to tape measure anything literally anything and like I said, my friends always had one and I would just randomly borrow their stuff whenever I would need it, but I'm tired of going and asking people if I can borrow their screwdriver, if I can borrow their hammer or their tape measure. So I got one of these and this is actually just from Walmart and I think it was like $30, but they sell them at any hardware store, Lowe's, Stein's, Home Depot. They have these little toolkits that just have like the basics in it. So it's always great to have one of these in your classroom and I'm excited that I have one this year. Okay, last but not least is my new, whoa, planner. <laughs> um, like I said, I made a Michaels run this weekend and I was actually planning on either getting the Happy Planner or the Erin Condren Planner. I had a happy planner last year and I really liked it. There's only a couple of features that um, I wasn't fond of. So I was looking at the planners at Michael's this weekend and I found this one. Now, I don't know if this is like specifically a Michael's brand. It's called Recollections. And this is just, it says a teacher's viral planner. Um, it's dated, it's a 12 month planner. It is a nine inch by 11 and a half inch so it's a really big planner and it's pretty thick i don't know if you can like tell how thick it is but it has a ton of stuff in it so when you open it up oh let me read you the front it's super colorful and cute it says all it takes is all you've got i thought that was cute 
So when you open it up, it has like a little bag that you can keep pens, pencils, things like that, your stickers um, for your planner. Um, when you open it, it has a list to put your kids' birthdays, volunteers' names, events. Uh, let me flip through a little bit more. Student contact information. And there's like, I think almost 30 of these little boxes for student contact information because I was worried that there wouldn't be enough if I actually wanted to store that in here. But I counted and usually we have about average 22 students in our classroom. So that'll be perfect. It also comes with some stickers already inside this planner. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's like assembly, field trips, classroom duty, things like that. Um, there's quite a few actually little things of stickers. Let me see, it's hard to like hold and flip at the same time. There was a cute one. Oh yes, this one with like the emoji faces. I thought that was so cute and like the kids would love that if you put that on their paper and then they have a bunch of colorful stickers down here and then it gets oh wait and it has this little pocket that you can put papers in maybe notes or anything like that and it's a two-sided pocket then it has student absentee log which i don't know if i would use this i might actually write this down for myself to keep track of days that I take off because half the time I can't remember. Um, it also has seating chart graph paper. So if you want to do that, and then at the end of that, it has like note pages and then it has a year at a glance page. And then it goes into your months. Now, of course, it has your monthly view first. And this is one of the reasons why I liked this planner because for the happy planners, me. For the happy planners, it would give you the days this way going down and then the subjects at the top. I didn't like that. I like to see my days going down. So I really like that about this planner that the days are at the top and your subjects are on this side. Um, that was actually one of the reasons I chose this over the happy planner because that was literally one complaint I had about the happy planner is that the days were on the side and not the top. So I really like that. It is pretty heavy, but I don't really carry my planner around. It usually stays in my room or comes home with me. So at the end of the day or in the morning when I come back to school, obviously I would have it, but I don't just carry it around school with me, so I'm not worried about it being big or heavy. But I love the colors. It's floral print on the back. Um, I'm obviously gonna take these little things off, but I was really excited to be able to go ahead and get my planner and find one that I actually love the setup of, but I'll keep you updated on if I run into any like little snafus about this planner. But I mean, I haven't started using it, obviously, but I like it so far. I love how it's set up. Oh, and I forgot this. At the beginning of each month, it has like objectives, things to do, important dates. Kind of like an overview of the month. So that's pretty cool. The Happy Planner also has that, so I liked it that's included in this. Okay, so the last thing that I got is really big. Um, and it's kind of hard to show you in the camera frame, but it is literally just a wagon. It's technically called a beach wagon and I'll link it down below so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of the times I'll be carrying a ton of stuff in and out of school and I do not have any way to transport it except for my own two hands. So a lot of the teachers have these, they're like beach wagons and they fold up and fit in your car very nicely. So when you need to bring things into the school, you just pop it out and put all your stuff in it and you can wheel it all into the school. Um, I am the farthest building away from the entrance. So it is a struggle when you have a ton of stuff to bring into the school. So I love that I found one. I think it was about $30. I can't remember where we got it from, but I'll try to find it and link it down below. But it's just really convenient 
um, a convenient mode of transportation uh, for your things. So that's about all I got so far. Like I said, this will probably be the first of I don't know how many classroom hauls because I haven't seen my classroom yet. So I might be getting more storage items, um, some new border because I kind of wanted to redo my room this year in the black and white theme, some bulletin board paper, and just little things like that that you don't know how much to get until you see your classroom. You know what I mean? So that's it for today's video. Um, I will link my first classroom haul down below so you can see some of the things that I was talking about. But I'm so glad that you came and watched this video. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.